today I'm going to make a quick video how to assemble this five shelf wallen. There it is right there. It looks very good. Very spacious. So let's go ahead and open this sucker up. The box is already cut. Here are the planks. And there's everything. It comes with little skid pads for the bottom down there and for the top. Uh, there is two ways that you can make this. You can make this into a five shelf or make this into like a workbench. Nice. So the way we're gonna do it is five shelves. So, but all you simply do is just stop right there and make the other one pretty simple, pretty sweet. So let's go ahead and get this one assembled just like so. We're gonna go ahead and separate all the parts. It also comes with a cord so you can attach it to the wall so it doesn't tip over. A furniture tip resistant. But we're gonna leave that just fine. It's perfect. This ain't gonna tilt. And it's perfect for us like that for us to move it around. So let me go ahead and move everything over to the side. All right, and there we have it. There's all our parts. First thing we're gonna do is start with our frame. We're gonna grab four of these legs. We're going to grab four of these small ones. Yeah, four of them. We're going to grab four of these long ones. There it is. So it's set up to four, four and four. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six, okay. So we have four and six. Uh, we're gonna start with our base. You have extra ones over here for extra shelves the two extra shelves uh, so let's go ahead and get started let's grab these grab two of these we're gonna grab one of these now you want these facing downward so we're gonna start at the bottom and then this one here facing upwards this one here and we're going to press that right into here, just like so. And on the other side as well. If you have a rubber mallet, I suggest you use the rubber mallet to clamp this down. But the next step we're going to do, is we're gonna grab two of the long ones. And if you could get someone to help you, <laughs> that would be a great help. We're going to insert these with this facing upwards. So you can put the baseboard and same thing here you insert this one here just like so and I'm gonna do the other side and I'm gonna go ahead and stand this up so it could be upright all right and there it is we're getting our frame squared away we're gonna grab these two other ones and one of these and do the same to this side here like I said, you want to make sure these are facing down. That way it clamps down into it. Like so. All right, and there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and put that center piece right in there. All right, and there it is. And this is where you could finish it off. And just like so. Make yourself like a little workbench here. But since we're going to level it up, just like this one, we're going to just use one of the holes. So it's like this, because the next step we're going to do is we're gonna grab one of these, the medium sized one. Then this one is going to go right here. And we're gonna go ahead and clamp that down but before we do that, we have to insert all these little, little spacers, little, I don't know, those little sliding ones. You have this one here. It's going to go into here. 
that's going to give you the main support for this one here just like so then we'll go ahead and clamp that down now all right then we'll grab one of these and we'll actually need one of these first grab this one set it here and then we'll go ahead and insert this one to secure it all right we'll grab these two ends and we'll go ahead and add these two ends as well all right and there it is we'll grab this one here and secure this one right here all right and we have the top to finish off so let's go ahead and grab two of these and secure these right in here all right and there it is we'll grab two of the long ones and we'll finish it off right up here on all four corners all right and there is our frame now you could set these two wherever you want either way up here or down in here like right in the center up to you wherever you want I'm gonna put these in the center and then the same way we were building the frame grab the smaller one it's gonna go right in here right in here latch it down then grab the big one and finish off the platform you have going there all right and there it is and you have one more level I'm gonna go ahead and fill this metal one up all right and there is all the levels complete now we're ready to put in this planks put them all into place we're gonna put this tag facing downwards you know what this first one we're actually gonna put this one facing upwards so you don't see it looking upwards sweet just like that and then the rest we'll put with the labels facing downwards all right and there it is next thing we're gonna do is just put our little rubber guards right up here just like so and we'll put the bottom ones down here and we'll just pick this up and center it all right and there it is just make sure you put them all the way around and all the way up on top and you're set and that is how you construct these nifty little five shelves or make yourself a little workbench I don't think they're too reliable for a workbench. It's a little flimsy, but it is what it is. Uh, other than that, it's great for storage. I like them. What do you think? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.